hello students in this video we shall be learning the concept of electromotive force or emf terminal potential difference and the internal resistance of a cell or a battery the circuit element represented inside the dotted square is a cell or a battery with an emf e and internal resistance r a and b are the terminals of the cell an external resistance r capital r is connected across the terminals a and b of the cell the battery maintains a constant potential difference across its terminals when connected across a resistance point a being connected to positive terminal of the cell is at a higher potential and point b is at a lower potential and the potential difference across the resistance r causes current i to flow in the circuit now let us see what role the battery plays in maintaining the current before that an important point needs to be discussed now the charge particles which are responsible for maintaining current in the circuit are electrons free electrons however we can also assume the charge particles constituting current i to be positively charged particles it makes no difference whether we assume the charge particles responsible for current to be positive or negative so here we shall be assuming that the charge particles responsible for current i in the circuit are positively charged particles now these charge particles when at point a have a higher potential energy as they move across the resistance and reach point b they lose potential energy at point b the charges have a lower potential energy so there is a constant loss of energy as charge particles flow from end a to end b now from point b the charges cannot all by themselves reach point a here at this point the battery comes to rescue it picks up the charges at the lower potential energy level that is at point b and circulates them back to higher potential energy level by supplying stored energy within it this energy is continuously generated within the battery because of a chemical reaction taking place inside the battery between the chemicals present inside it this mixture of chemicals is also called as electrolyte now as the charge particles move from lower potential energy level to higher potential energy level through the battery or through the electrolyte solution of the battery the charge particles collide with the electrolyte ions so that means that the electrolyte solution offer resistance to the flow of electric current now this resistance is called as the internal resistance of the battery which has been denoted by symbol small r here let us come to terminal potential difference if the potential at point a is va if the potential at point b is vb the potential difference terminal potential difference is va minus vb and this potential difference is applied across the resistor r which results in the current i now this potential difference va minus vb across the battery terminals can be denoted by symbol v so this terminal potential difference is nothing but work done by the battery per unit charge in overcoming resistance r but you can see that the battery not only has to overcome resistance r but also its own internal resistance r in order to maintain a steady current in the circuit the total work done by the battery per unit charge in overcoming the resistance combination r plus r is called as emf of the battery so emf is also a potential difference this potential difference is acting over the combination of resistors r and small r now if we apply ohm's law since the potential difference over the resistance r is v 
which is V A minus V B that is the terminal potential difference of the cell. By definition, this terminal potential difference is the work done by the battery per unit charge in overcoming external resistance R. In accordance with Ohm's law, this potential difference must be equal to I R as you can see written over there. Let us come to EMF. EMF is also a sort of potential difference but this potential difference is the total work done by the battery per unit charge to overcome the resistance combination capital R plus small r. So EMF is the potential difference across the resistance combination R plus R. So in accordance with Ohm's law it must be equal to I into capital R plus small r. Let us recapitulate. V the potential difference across the battery terminals or the potential difference applied across external resistance R is V equal to I R and the EMF R plus R. Suppose these two equations be represented as equations 1 and 2. If we eliminate the product capital I into capital R from these two equations, we get the final result as V equal to E minus I R, which is an important result students and you will see that this result finds a wide application not only in solving numerical problems, but also in some other discussions that will follow shortly.